Okay, so here we are back with the second part. We just uh, finished with the content, bar, buttons, and the mask. So let me just uh, keep working with buttons. Let me just select this and just double click. And when just rename this uh, gradient. And also we want to add three more layers. And this uh, image, this one, arrow, and this one, just uh, rename label. So let me just select all of them, just unlock the gradient, just go at frame 10, F6 to insert a keyframe. If we go back at the frame, just select go color, and when you just set the opacity to zero, and see, let me just click anywhere between the, uh, the frames, just right click, create shape twin. So here we got the effect. Here we got the over. So let me just select all the frames, holding down Alt and drag, and just right click, reverse the frame. Same thing, holding down Alt, reverse, one more, reverse. Let me see. Here we got the over, out, click, out again. So and just like this when we work with the image. So let me just go back to the library, pick the uh, first thumbnail, and just drag it. I'll make sure you have the image layer selected. Then you just drag, go online, center, center, just extend the frames, F5 to extend the frame. And just like this when we work with the arrow. So the way I would just draw the arrow is I just pick the polyester, go properties, options, and just set the three number of side and just hit OK. Color and just pick white. Make sure it's 100% the opacity. Let me just hold it down, shift, just drag a little, mm, little triangle. Then just select it, go line, center, center. Let me just zoom in. So let me just push a little bit up because we need just the part of the triangle. Then we just um, select this part. We need to cut off. Let me just select this and when just convert to move clip and we're gonna call arrow. And also we want to just give a drop shadow effect. So the same thing, just a 10 angle, it's 90 and the distance one pixel. And let me just back out and see. Okay, there we have. Nice, there we have uh, uh, the arrow. So let me just go at frame 10, F6 to sort that keyframe. Go back to the first frame. Go style, alpha, just wanna set zero. And the same thing, click in between the keyframes and just um, create class between. The same thing we did with the first layer. So let me just select the frames, holding down Alt and drag it. Right click, reverse the frame. So once we have this, we're gonna just extend the labels as well. F5 to extend. If we go at frame 10, if we just hit F7 to insert a blank keyframe, 20, same, F7, 30, F7, and just uh, go window action when just type stop, open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon, just let me so let me just copy this code, go back to frame 10, the same thing, paste it, 20, paste it, 30, same thing, just paste the same code. And let me just close, if we go at 11, 
Let me just insert another blank keyframe. 21, uh, 30 frames well. Let me just uh, label this. At the second frame, we want to just insert another blank keyframe. So I'm just uh, label it like over. And this one, just name out, click, and here we're just out. No, 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 hold on. We have out, so we cannot duplicate the labels name. So let me just give what can be, you know, just type gone. So let me just check this effect. So then we have the over, out, click, and gone. So let me just go back to scene one. I want to start duplicating the symbol. So let me just control C, control shift V to paste in place, and let me just move to the right. And also we want to just right click and duplicate symbol. I want to just rename two. And also if we just double click and go the image, we can just swap the bitmap. So let me just swap, pick the uh, thumbnail, go back to scene one, same thing, just control C to copy, control shift B to paste, move to the right, right click, duplicate symbol, three, and just double click, image, swap bitmap, pick the last one, go back to scene one. So there we have the button, so let me just uh, give an instance name. One, this one called two, and this one one called three. So we have one, two, three. Let me make sure if we gave um, the instance name to the content as well. So let me just unlock the mask. And make sure the content has, oh, let me just type content underscore MC and put it back the mask. So now we want to just uh, work on the labels. So if we just uh, drag at the 30 frame and just uh, drag and hit F5 to extend the frames. If we go at frame 10, hit F7, 20 F7, and here we just uh, give a uh, one label name two and this one just three so let me see we have at the first frame we have one two we got three so let me just uh, work with the code if we go windows actions i already have the code because it's a little long so you can just pause the video and copy or the project will be available on my blog so you can just go and download for cs3 cs4 cs5 and cs5.5 so let me just open actions again just paste it and let me just show you so here we got the transition the button mode equal true as i say you can just pause the video and copy the code here we got the code for the first button, for the second, and the last button. Okay, let me just close this and let me see, let me just control and test the movie. So here we got the slider, the hover, if we click, it doesn't work because we need to add a couple more lines of code. So let me just close this. If we go back to the first frame, let me just copy this line of code. So control C to copy. We go at town, open actions, paste it. We need to change to label two. And also we need to change this to minus 1000. And let me just close if we go at the frame 20. 
same thing and just open the actions panel just paste it and also we need to change three and the exposition change uh, minus two thousand and i guess that's all so let me just test the movie and see if we have no errors control and test the movie same thing hover active hover hover active yep i guess this is the final part of this tutorial so as i say you, you can just go and download project and blog or simply just uh, watch on youtube if you can just leave a comment subscribe and also you can just follow me on twitter or facebook i don't use much facebook but you can just if you like you just follow me so if you have any question comment just drop off on the blog or the youtube so i'll be happily answering the questions see you next time and be expecting the next tutorial thank you